it's Anthony Soleil. I'm I'm a cra I'm crashing out because like this is for my safety. This is how I feel. That's who paid me. Not saying I was in direct contact with him. That's just the name that was on the account that I got paid by. Drake. All right, now let's keep this a hundred percent real. When it comes to this conversation about Drake and Kendrick, I always try to keep it fair. So I gotta let y'all know when we get into this talk about bots. I think a lot of artists are using some percentage of bots. I don't care if you Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, Drake, Kendrick Lamar, bots are used. But if we have in this conversation about these bots that were used in Not Like Us, we got to remember that we actually heard from the botter himself on Academic Stream Let's check this out. I'm going to show you some receipts that the botter said he was paid from Kendrick's team. Let's get into it. Let's play this audio first. And again, like, you know, I have a certain amount of money that I just, for my age, the amount of money I have is like kind of sickening. I don't want to risk that and then me end up getting robbed or me end up getting shot by somebody else who isn't. I'm not trying to pull your bank account, brother. Just but speak your truth. I right, fuck it, bro. It's Anthony Soleil. I'm I'm a cra I'm crashing out because like this is for my safety. This is how I feel. That's who paid me. Not saying I was in direct contact with him. That's just the name that was on the account that I got paid by. And that's how I feel. And I'm scared. Obviously, bro. I'm not of age. I'm you know I'm young. I'm underage. I can't do certain th things. I'm scared of people, bro. I do online shit. I'm not a shooter. I'm not a hitter. I got reached out to by people. I did this, and this is what happened. This is my safety net now i don't want to die obviously bro i mean i'm just how i feel and this is what i had to say and it's it's stupid as fuck because obviously i want to keep making money i have like fucking i'm like mid i've made mid seven figures like i'm touching crazy money but then again if somebody's going to come threaten my life why does money matter all right now here are the receipts for those payments that kid said he was getting from Kendrick Lamar's team by the way he even mentioned that he was getting points points to keep that in the perspective a lot of people who produce and even write music sometimes they just get a flat fee they don't even get residuals off of the music which means a monthly or yearly paycheck off of the song that they help create they usually just get an upfront payment but people felt like his body was so important they were willing to give him residuals. Now, I also want to confirm I have a Bank of America account. This is how the transactions look. I mean, I don't want to show y'all my bank account, but if I pulled up my account on my phone, this is how the transactions look. And it checks out when he was saying I've made low seven figures. Now, I know a lot of people want to say he was paid by Drake to make up this story, but let's just take the playground mentality. You on this side with Kendrick. Uh, I'm on this side with Drake out of it. Let's just say this kid is really who he says he is. And he really did bot for Kendrick. And he sounded Caucasian to me. And now he stumbled on to this situation that's bigger than him and his suburbia lifestyle where he's in his bedroom probably playing minecraft okay botting for people making all of this money and next thing you know he might have started getting threats he hears drake got mob ties he hears kendrick lamar got gang ties you better shut up you better not say nothing about these bots and now he gets scared he thinking, you know, I don't want anybody to come knock on my door and do anything to my mom and dad, my little brother. And so he starts to whistleblow. I can see that happening. OK, now, by the way, the name you keep seeing on the receipts is the same name that he brought up, which was Anthony Soleil. Who is Anthony Soleil, the music manager connected to Kendrick Lamar? And this is his face, okay? Another light-skinned dude turning on his light-skinned brother, Drake. Mm, mm, mm. Now, remember, in the lawsuit, it says that UMG, Drake's label, is firing anybody who's considered to be aligned with Drake. 
So if they support Drake and they at the label, they said they've been getting fired and people who cool with Kendrick are getting hired and staying and bonuses. Okay. <laughs> so this shit runs deep. And that's why I tell y'all it's bigger than bots and it's about business. And I know what I'm saying right now, a lot of people don't care because they looking at Drake like Kevin Durant when he went to the Warriors. They feeling like this is the weakest move we've ever seen in hip hop. And I do think, understandably so, you can have that opinion. And if I was Drake, maybe I wouldn't have done this because, look, I think everybody in Drake's team knew that he was going to get a hit from this but when it's millions upon millions upon millions of dollars at stake and at risk sometimes you gotta be the guy to look bad when it comes to fighting the machine and while it looks like drake is mad at kendrick because of the beef if this was any other time and you took kendrick out of the equation people would be congratulating Drake for trying to fight against the establishment, which is the record label for doing underhanded tricks. I said this in another video. If you let them get away with a small thing, they'll keep coming back and trying to fuck you, take advantage of you and getting upset with you. And I said this, it looked like Drake was doing things that might have led them to think, oh, you want to go independent. S same thing with Kendrick Lamar. You going to PG Lang. Remember, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers was his first album out of his old situation with TDE. And when it looked like Kendrick wasn't working with the labels, we saw how Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers looked totally different from Kendrick's other three releases. Then you start kind of getting back cool with the labels. Now you start to get this push. You beefing with Drake. You, 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 you got Not Like Us and it's blowing up. And I think even what Drake is doing, while it might be you know, said that it was Kendrick Lamar who had these bots and UMG is even telling him, hey, if, if you think it was bots, sue Kendrick. But I still think in a way what Drake is doing also helps Kendrick and other artists when it comes to these record labels trying to hold you in this stronghold because of these streams. And trying to make sure you don't go independent. Trying to make sure y'all stop releasing songs on YouTube and Instagram. And trying to make sure you do everything as a part of the machine. I think Kendrick wants to go completely independent too. I think Drake wants to go completely independent. I think it's a lot of artists that wish they didn't have to depend on a major label. And this is one of those fights. But unfortunately, the beef happened. And I don't think a lot of people realize that I think Drake and his team are savvy enough to know that it's a strong, if not 100% possibility, that if it was bots purchased on behalf of Kendrick Lamar, that Kendrick didn't know anything about it. And I think that's why the lawsuit from Drake's end is not trying to deliberately blame Kendrick. He's making this a, a fight against the label. Not Kendrick, but unfortunately, Not Like Us was the song that they used to play the games, allegedly, okay? I hope this not going over nobody's head because it does get convoluted. And like I said, unfortunately, Drake has to take a publicity hit. But at the end of the day, I really do think he's doing something on behalf of all artists because... When you start looking like you trying to do shit that's out of the system, shit start looking iffy. I'm telling y'all. All right? Let me know what y'all think about this. Like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.